My wife has gone from a lady to a monster, I discovered the reason why when I surprised her at work with dinner. My wife 39 female and I 45 male have been married for 19 years. In the beginning, she was such a lady. She never raised his voice or called me names, but as soon as we decided to blend our families, with my children living with us, she became very loud and started calling me names, and we argued frequently. I realized that she was abusing substances, but she quickly turned that behavior around when I told her I would not allow it. A few years later, she stopped drinking completely, and things were calm. But then she changed again, and she now calls me the most terrible names I could ever think of being called. The way I see it, I have backed her for 19 years, including when there were illnesses in her family. I attended the funerals of several of her family members and took care of her parents when they were in hospice at home. My brother has now passed, and my wife has become so angry that she will not attend the funeral with me. She says she wants us to separate but not divorce because she does not want to pay for it. I am desperate to fix this situation but am not sure that it can be fixed. What do you suggest? Desperate. OP, it sounds like the woman you first married is long gone. If she is drinking or using drugs again, that will tell you a lot. But for whatever reason, she has gone from a lady to a monster. She is verbally abusing you. As I see it, you have two options, you can get into marriage counseling and work through your issues, or, if she is resistant, you can contact the divorce attorney and get the ball rolling so that you can heal and begin to move on with your life. Update After 19 years of marriage and being with a person for 25 years I did not want to throw in the towel so soon. I was not sure I was doing all I could as a loving husband. Sure my wife had her faults but so did I. I decided to surprise my wife at her office with her favorite dinner, hoping to rekindle the spark that seemed to have dimmed. When I arrived at the office building, I noticed a sleek sports car parked outside, an unfamiliar one. As I pushed the door open, my worst fears were realized. My wife stood there, looking disheveled and guilty, with a tall well-built man by her side. He was a co-worker, and he had been the source of my wife's late nights at the office drinking, and drug use. Trying not to cry I confronted my wife, demanding an explanation. Her shirt was unbuttoned and her co-worker was down to his underwear. When my wife did not respond I said I guess I got her just in time. My wife's co-worker put his clothes on but not before I snapped a few pictures with my phone, at that instance my wife asked me what was I going to do with the pictures. Looking at her co-worker I said I'm sure his wife would want proof that he was cheating. I quickly emailed the pictures to two of my email accounts and I told them both what I had done just in case my wife and her co-worker decided to smash my phone. My wife's co-worker chimed in and said look man this was a bit of fun, but I don't want your wife. My wife had a very dejected look on her face when he said that. I told him I was going to need a video confession and then we could discuss my keeping my mouth shut, I told him to pull out his phone and hand it to me, he did and I called my phone and locked in his number. At that point, my wife was fully dressed and asked if we could talk. I told her not to and asked her not to come home I need time to process my thoughts. I walked out and took the dinner I purchased with me. The next week my wife asked if we could talk and I said yes. We met at a park and she stuttered, unable to meet my gaze, and finally admitted to the affair. She confessed that she had been seeing her co-worker for several months and that the once unbreakable bond they shared had shattered. I helped my wife get into rehab and today she is doing well. We divorced after she got out of rehab, the divorce was something my wife did not want but I told her I needed a fresh start and we don't know what the future holds. A lot of commenters scolded me for sticking with my wife through rehab, but I was raised a certain way and the measure of a man is not when things go well, it is when you are faced with adversity. My parents raised me well and I did what I thought was best, I was and still is in love with my wife and I did not want her to end up on the streets. My now ex-wife attends AA and NA three times a week and is working to try to make up for her wrongs. She takes me to dinner once or twice a month to keep me abreast of how her sobriety is going. 
a few of you asked for more details of the affair and the substance abuse. My ex-wife's affair partner was a functional recreational drug user. He got her started on C. Kane, but my ex now knows she had the power to say no and also the power to not start the affair and drug use. I understand how a person can get caught up in the thrill of things. I had a good friend in high school who came from a good family who started hanging around a bad crowd and eventually did something stupid and did jail time. Conversation with him helps me understand my wife's mindset at the time of the affair and her drug use. She lost her core values and was charmed by a handsome man. OP what a story, reading some of the comments left I thought you were slipping on simp Kool-Aid but I think you ended your marriage with class and dignity. Well done. Story 2. Married 6 years, she's been cheating last 6 months. Pregnant in the middle of it. Both of us are, 29, married for 6 years. I own my business and she has been a very dedicated teacher since we've been together. We both come from wonderful homes but parents hide issues with their marriages. We have a two-year-old son together and both work long hours seven days per week equally. I do almost all of the cooking, cleaning, and laundry and she agrees with that. We take care of our son equally. She has struggled with being motherly with our son like the bond is missing. I equate that with her working too much but I was always supportive of her career she was passionate about. In February we found out we were pregnant, absolutely ecstatic. We've always wanted two kids two years apart and to top it off she's having a girl. Fast forward end of March 2023. Her teaching colleague, 28F, who is good friends with my wife and I told us a BS rumor that a high school girl started at school that my wife's baby was another girl at school's dad. Of course, we laughed it off. This dad and his wife who were in rumor were good friends with my wife and I. He is a school board member, they are my parents' age and grew up as friends. Very small town. He and my wife did talk and text a lot about his daughter's projects my wife oversaw, which is very common with the type of teacher she with dealing with animals. A week later the wife and I had dinner with the dad and his wife. The joke was brought up again but I immediately felt something odd. I didn't laugh like I usually would and the subject was awkwardly changed ASAP. Didn't worry sick over it but it was in the back of my mind the rest of the night. The first time looked through her phone, was at 2 a.m. that night. Found texts and evidence they had been having at least an emotional affair saying I love you and bits of deleted text convos of her leaving me. Some nude pics she sent him. These dated back six months earlier. I remained calm and screenshotted and texted proof to me. I confronted her when she woke, and she began crying and apologetic. Told me the baby was 100% mine and they only had sex once after she was pregnant, lol. This guy is 57, pretty damn ugly, and overweight with a perfect family. I was disgusted. She claims he perused her she never wanted anything physical, lol. She says we were distant and my work felt more important to me than she did. I could say the same for me, even more. I was the homemaker, I made sacrifices of my work and time to be home more with our son and to take care of the house. In those six months she was cheating I took her on three out-of-the-country vacations. I was open with her and told her we had to spend more time together. She would spend unreasonably long hours away. Fast forward to now. My parents know they want us to work it out for the kids. We live in a small town and everything bad or not perfect gets hidden, that's how it is in a small town Bible belt. Show a good face, our family doesn't divorce. She has done everything perfectly to try to fix us. She quit her job and cut ties with him. And hasn't made any excuses or blamed me. She wants us to work and wants to stay and gets distraught about if I leave. Claims she wanted my attention the whole time. My original thoughts. I can forgive and at least make it to our daughter's birth in October to have a paternity test done. I do love this woman and we have built a successful life and the potential was there for an awesome family. Now these are my honest thoughts, only to read it because I have no one to talk to or rationalize with. 
I feel like my parents' advice is a setup for misery for the rest of our lives. Can young marriages overcome this? She gets to have, me, her rock and problem fixer. The outside perfectly perceived marriage and family. Her family and friends do not know. And her exciting wild fling that only she truly knows the extent of. Why would I stay? She doesn't help cook, clean, or organize the house. She is not motherly to our son. Sex is awful, I'm horny AF 24-7. I'm always trying. She is just bored with it. Only in the bedroom, only on certain nights. Never anything new. I can make her finish two to three times, so sexy exploring what it takes to get a woman there. Can't count the time she's left me with blue balls, really starting to believe she is just worried about her. She's not loyal. Everything she made she spent, clothes, I took care of bills and savings. Part of me thinks I'm throwing a good thing away by leaving. And worried about face. The other part knows how wrong and sick she is. How self-centered and lazy she is towards the life we have built. I have built a successful business and right now I have lost my drive and passion for it. I can't handle the stress of it and her with no one to talk to. Deep down I want to divorce her, dissolve my business, and liquidate my assets and real estate. Give her the house and cash and the kids. Started my life over 1,500 miles away and joined the Air Force. I know that's not the answer either. I'm heartbroken and betrayed and afraid I'm headed towards a lifetime of fake love and cover-up if I stay with her. Is there any coming back from this? OPU outlined several reasons why you should leave this marriage and you have given limited reasons why you should stay. The important part is your wife does not respect you. There's a saying that goes like this, don't become overly joyful when people profess their love and concern for you. The genuine inquiry is how long will it last, because similar to seasons individual undergo changes. Thank you for listening to today's story, please comment below on your opinion of today's story. If there is a story you would like to share with me please email the story to me. If you are not subscribed please take the time to subscribe and like, and I will see you in the following story, take care.